A simple, lowly nail provided all the evidence needed to identify and verify the first ever recognized Francisco Vasquez de Coronado site in Arizona from the year 1540. The rout of this absolute man's man, the conquistador of historical American conquistadors, the explorer extraordinaire, remained hidden, lost to history, unidentified in Arizona for 480 years until his route was given up by a lowly nail, by a simple piece of rusted iron. Had it not been for narrative accounts, including those left by expedition members, we could not have known that such a sizable, important expedition passed through our state. There was no physical on-the-ground evidence of his passing, or at least none that could be recognized. This absence of evidence was surprising given that over 2,000 people and thousands of head of livestock, horses, and pack animals accompanied this legendary man traveling from Compostela, Sinaloa to Cibola or Hawiku or Zuni and beyond before returning in 1542. Known by several names, this mighty nail can now take its place in the pantheon of reputable historical artifacts on par with the keys to the historical kingdom. These are known as the carrot head or carrot headed nail or bifaceted nail or facet headed nail. These nails are also referenced as clavos con dos golpes or nails with two blows. These are highly distinctive nails and as such they provided the clear evidence needed to unlock the centuries-old mystery of where Vasquez de Coronado camped and passed through on his way north. Why are there so many of these distinctive nails? They're found on every known Vasquez de Coronado site. So why is it that they are so ubiquitous? For one, they are horseshoe nails. They are found in actual horseshoes at a couple of different sites, including the Jimmy Owen site in Texas and another site in southern Arizona. Blacksmiths and nailsmiths consulted have said that these would make the perfect horseshoe nails. One characteristic that makes them so is that they are clasping nails. But their common occurrence may be explained by other factors as well. That they are more than simple nails is indicated by the work of artist Albert Durer whose engraving Melancholia I features these unique nails. The occurrence of these simple nails in the foreground of his engraving suggests that they had a specific symbolic meaning in the medieval and renaissance periods. Investigations indicate that nails in these periods served as currency, much like coins do today. And nails were also used to ward off evil and to cure toothaches and other ailments by hammering a nail into a tree trunk. Nails were also used in this way to make a wish, much like the current practice of throwing a coin in a wishing well. This use likely accounts for the presence of these nails both in encampments and on battlefields. Tree trunks have been preserved through the ages with hundreds of nails hammered into them. And this practice still occurs in some parts of the world today. So while this nail is simple, it carries with it considerable history and power. In our case, it had the ability to inform us of an early modern period presence in the southern Arizona desert. This simple but mighty nail proclaimed clearly the presence of Francisco Vasquez de Coronado in 1540.